What is it? You said you needed something? Uh, yes. Thanks for making the time, General. Please excuse me in advance. I don't usually involve my personal life in my work. This isn't official business. No, it isn't. It's about my sister, Jerfina. She was in Leonon when the Bloodburn hit. When... Isn't that when the Wolf Guard destroyed the village? Yes, under the esteemed command of General Noria. Except, they didn't just destroy the village, they purged it. Better to kill every last citizen than let a disease get out of hand. I understand you're upset, but what does this have to do with me? The blood burn is over. Noria is dead. I'm sorry, General. As I said, I'm not used to discussing personal affairs. Always lock it up, Jairus, my tutors would say, but... Anyway, I don't care about revenge. You're right, there's no point. But... I need to know what happened to my sister. Wait, you don't know what happened to her? I know she's probably dead, but uh, as far as my family and I are concerned, she, she left one day and never came back. We just don't know. Uh, did she get sick or did the soldiers Why was she in Leonon? While I was studying etiquette, my sister was learning the healing arts. She would often make trips to the outer villages that lacked the expertise of a formally educated healer. Uh, knowing her, she would have stayed to treat the blood burn. Your sister is also from Greyfell, right? Wouldn't the soldiers have noticed she wasn't one of the villagers? Our family is of modest wealth, yes. But your Fina? Huh would never dress as such when she traveled. She liked to blend in, said it helped make the villagers feel at ease. Besides, the wolf guard was pretty set on not letting the blood burn spread. Even if they had known, I don't know that they would have cared. Why do you think I can help? Because there are a group of survivors who might know the truth. After the village was destroyed, I hired a guy to look for Jafina. He didn't find her, but he did find these survivors. And? And they fled at the sight of him. It's the only lead I have. Please, could, could you try talking to them? I doubt they would say no to the wolf guard. I don't know, Ambassador. I'm not the one who ordered their village destroyed, but the wolf guard was part of it. I doubt those survivors will be happy to see our banners. I see your point, but Leonon happened before Tahar reshaped the Wolf Guard. Everyone knows it's different now. They'll, they'll talk to you, I'm sure of it. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Where can I find these survivors? My guy tracked them to the Windwall outskirts. They moved around after the war, but they should still be there. Oh, thank you for this, General. Tiara's light go with you. Yes? Stay close. This way. Keep it up. Hmm. Interesting. Let's talk later, shall we? You came. Good. Ready for an introduction? Yes. Good. Come along. This is the Wolf Chamber. It's where Tahar used to plan missions and discuss politics with the Orcish and Elven commanders. Now, I could tell you all about them myself, but I suggest you have a chat with them first. Just let me know when you're done.
Ah, oh, and you might also want to introduce yourself to your soldiers. I saw two of them sauntering around here earlier. Hmm? Who are... Wait. You're the new general, aren't you? How did you know? I saw you and that caravan come in last night. I heard what happened on the Golden Road. Dwarves attacking humans. They were either completely hammered or completely out of their minds. Anyway, you'll be replacing Tahar, won't you? Good thing the Fire Wielders won't be fighting for the Wolf Guard for the next few moons. Otherwise, you'd be in for a rough time. The Fire Wielders won't be fighting for the Guard? How come? They're currently all needed in Bargagor. Tensions with the Fleshkin. I'm afraid your human troops will have to do. I see. Why would I be in for a rough time? Well, mainly because we orcs don't care as much about titles as we do deeds. Tahar earned our respect, whereas you're still a blank slate. Ah, and on that note, you should probably talk to the Circle Mage, Iria. What about? Well, I overheard your audience with the Queen, and knowing Iria, I don't think she's very happy about the decision to replace Tahar with you. The two of them were really close. As friends, I mean. But it's best if you ask her yourself. Either way, all the best on your mission, General. I'll see you around. Yes. Yes? Who are you? General Arev, the new commander of the Wolf Guard. I thought I might drop by to introduce myself. Ah, right. You're the replacement. I heard about you. Well, I'm Master Sergeant Ralkin, the Wolf Guard's quartermaster. Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Listen, General. I was actually looking for you. I know you're probably already swamped, but there are two important matters we should discuss. One's about these mercenaries from Wolfgar the Ambassador hired. The other about a disappearance within our ranks. What do you say? We can talk about this now or later outside. Earlier on, you said something about those mercenaries the Ambassador hired. What about them? Well, since the ones from Wolfgar turned out to be quite useful, the Queen's provided the Wolfgar with some coin to hire more of them if need be. And since you're the new commander, I thought you might want to have a say in it, and who we're going to hire. We can stick with the two from Wolfgar, or find someone else. It's up to us. I see. Why do we even need mercenaries? Doesn't the Royal Army have enough men to fill the Wolfgar with? But the Purity Wars cost us dearly. We're still licking the wounds, so to speak. And in the meantime, we rely on help from reputable mercenary corps. Anyway, bottom line, just let me know if you want to hire someone new. I'll arrange it. Will do. Thanks, Sergeant. What do you mean by disappearance in our ranks? What happened? Well, where do I start? It's about one of the Wolf Guard's engineers, Marcus. He went missing a couple moons ago. Heard a search party went looking for him, but they didn't return either. You want me to look into this? If you can spare the time, yes. Strictly speaking, it's not your direct responsibility. But word has it you'll be traveling a lot. So, maybe you could make some time? What do you know about his disappearance that makes you so worried? Marcus wouldn't just disappear, and neither would that search party. I heard they tracked him to an old silver mine southeast from Greykeep called the Silver Drift Hollow. Something must have happened there. I'll look if I pass that way. That's all I can ask. Thanks, General. Farewell. Good day, General. Mm hmm? Who are you? Your new commander. Wait, you're the general from Imperia, Erev. Her Majesty already informed us about her decision. I truly hope she knows what she's doing. Corporal Tahar was a great leader. I mean no disrespect, of course. Forgive me, General.
I know what I'm doing. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Understood. I heard that we'll be heading out on a mission soon. Is that true? Yes, tomorrow at first light. You'll be briefed soon. I see. Well, thank you for visiting us, General. I appreciate it. Tiara's blessings. By the... Ellen's reins, you gave me a start. Who are you? General Aref. I'm the new commander of the Wolf Guard. Oh, I see. Yes, we were told. I assume you came to familiarize yourself with the Guard? Yes. Good. Well, I'm Elian Valath, Scryer of the Moorhir, and the one in charge of the Elven Division of the Wolf Guard. But you probably knew that already. I did. What's the state of the Moorhir troops? Our state? Absent. Almost all of our forces are currently up in Utran, helping to secure our new settlement, and it'll be some time until they're back. I hate to say it, but for now and the near future, you'll have to make do with the human part of the Guard. Listen, um, I have a question. That dark elf that's been walking around the keep, would you know who he is? I've been told he was at your audience with the Queen today. I don't. But he'll accompany us on our mission, so I might find out. Ah, fair enough. Then do let me know when you find out. I'm curious. Either way, I'll be out on King's Vantage if you need anything. Good luck on that mission, General. My prayers will be with you. Done already? You're a Circle Mage. So what exactly is your role in the Wolf Guard? Officially? None. But I guess you could call me a... counselor of sorts. Plus, the Circles and the Wolf Guard's responsibilities overlap. We oversee the use of magic, they oversee the country's safety. Both are... diplomats, so to speak. So, since Her Majesty ordered it, I guess I'll be sticking around for a while longer. That is, unless you have a problem with that. Of course not. Good. Where are the Wolf Guard's troops stationed? In the barracks, of course. These are the headquarters. If the entirety of the Wolf Guard troops lived and slept here, it'd be rather cramped. Makes sense. Something I've been meaning to ask you. What do you know about that Dark Elf? Wraith? Not much. We briefly worked together during the Purity Wars. He helped us resolve a problem for the Moorhir Elves and then left. Hmm. I see. Not yet. Okay. I'll be here. Go ahead. Let's talk later, shall we? Done already? I think I'm done. Let's prepare for the mission. Sure. Just let me know when you want to head out and I'll be there. Anything else? Well, yes. Zara said you're not too happy with the Queen's decision. Did he? You can talk to me if there's a problem. I don't have a problem with you, General. It's just... Tahar gave so much for this country. So bloody much. Now here you are, the new leader of the Wolf Guard, handpicked by the Queen herself. Replacing a hero like you'd replace an old pair of boots. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't know you, but this just feels... wrong. Well, I'm not in charge yet. I still have to prove myself. <sighs> yeah. And something tells me that you will. It wasn't my choice. 
I know. Anyway, if you want to, we can have a chat after the mission. I need some time to clear my head. I'll see you on the morrow, at dawn. Find yourself a good horse in the meantime. This'll be a tough ride. Atop the mammoth stronghold of Greykeep sits King's Vantage, a gathering place of merchants, servants, and nobles of the keep encircle the terrace, a grove of from the city below. Beyond reaches to the far horizon, a view that both reminds and inspires those who defend it. What do you need? General, is there anything I can help you with? What's your story? How did you become Ambassador of the Realm? Oh, well, it's not an exciting story if that's what you were hoping for. I'm the son of Jaros de Bros. The de Bros? The Mayor of Greyfell? Yes. My path was pretty much paved the moment my parents found out that I was gifted. A royal mage took me under his wing, and I joined the university when I was only 15 years old, where I studied the five languages, history, diplomacy, and magic. Since I wasn't an exceptional mage, but performed quite well in other disciplines, my father suggested that I pursue a career in politics, as he had done. That I did, and here I am, 13 years later, and ambassador of the queen. You speak all of the five languages? More or less, yes. Though my Elven and Empyrean have gotten a little rusty. Twenty-eight winters and Ambassador of the Queen. That's impressive. Oh, thank you. What about you? How did you join the military? Well, my parents didn't come from much. I worked my way up. And now you're here, General of the Wolf Guard. I admire that, General. I, I truly do. Either way, uh, is there anything else I can assist you with? So long. Tiara's light, General. I'm listening. War after war has scarred Fiara, altering the tides of power across much of the continent. In Nortender, a of peace drives the efforts to rebuild a ravaged kingdom. Others carry on in their stronghold below the mountains, and they exist over the dark elven swamps. It is an era of change, of redefining the old and discovering the new. <laughs> 